Now, could the mystery of the Loch Ness Monster finally be solved? Well, a team of scientists which use cutting-edge DNA techniques to test the contents of the loch say the most likely sightings could be down to giant eels. Well, Nicola McCallie is at the loch now. Nicola? Well, as you can tell, it's a little bit breezy here, adding to the mysterious atmosphere. Now, when you mention the words the Loch Ness Monster, people certainly pay attention. There were 40 media outlets from across the world here today for these findings from places like South Africa, Japan and Kazakhstan. And perhaps they left with more questions than answers. The myth of the Loch Ness Monster dates back to the first recorded sighting in the 6th century. This video of something moving in the water was recorded by Inverness man Jim Brown in the early 1990s. There was a huge wave and a swirl when it turned to change direction and we could see the dark shape ahead of the wave quite clearly and there's no question of it being anything else. Today the world's media descended on Drumna Drochet to hear the findings of a major search of the loch. Professor Neil Gemmell from the University of Otago in New Zealand tested the environmental DNA of 250 samples of water from various depths. His verdict? There's no evidence of plesiosaurs, but Nessie could be a giant eel. We've tested each of the hypotheses, this idea of a giant reptile, giant fish, and for most of those we can't find any strong evidence to support them. Um, it could still be a, a large eel or, or, or some sort of creature like that, um, but we also can't confirm that it's a large eel. All we can just say is that we found eel DNA. Steve Feltham's lived on the shores of the loch for 28 years, dedicating his life to searching for Nessie. He's unimpressed by the scientific findings. Eels? Okay. Get a grip. Eels? Uh, any 12-year-old boy could tell you that there's eels in Loch Ness. That's hardly a world-shattering news story, is it? Over the years, there have been numerous monster hunts on Loch Ness. Experts say despite today's news, the truth is still out there. The Loch Ness is a huge, huge body of water. 24 miles long, 750 feet deep, a mile and a half wide. They can immerse the population of the world three times over. You're talking about... It's going to take a lot of Professor Neil Gemmels to find out exactly what is in their DNA or otherwise. And eel or no eel, tourists today were still believers. We absolutely believe in Nessie. That's why we're here. When you're from Australia, you believe in anything, don't you? <laughs> we also believe in this. That was the reason that we're here now. Scientists say the DNA tests have proved a valuable resource when it comes to researching the loch's ecosystem with Nessie helping conserve other not-so-elusive creatures. Nicola McCalley, STV News. Nevertheless, Nicola, you can see why Nessie fans would be quite disappointed by this today. Well, the scientists themselves say, although they were able to identify around 3,000 different types of plants and animals in the loch, they don't have all the answers because this was simply a snapshot in time. They were only able to take samples of what would have been in the water around two weeks before the tests were taken. And around 20% of all the DNA that they extracted was actually unidentified. So the myth does still live on. And let's not forget, this all happened last summer and perhaps Nessie was simply on holiday. <laughs> yeah, Nicola, I'll go with that theory too. Thanks very much.